across the world to places near and far. It's time to cruise above the clouds, no matter who you are. Together you and I will fly the world from Milan to Japan. This is Captain Rimming speaking. Please make welcome the one and only air hostess to the stars and beyond, Miss Pam Ann. <laughs> Hello, Australia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard Pam Am Flight 269, non stop to Sydney. Sydney. Well, it's very exciting tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, joining us in my VIP Beyond First Class cabin is an entertainer, a judge on Australia's version of Dancing with the Stars. Have you got it? Have you got it? Do you know? <laughs> Camp. Camp is a row of tents. The extremely talented. Todd McKenney is here! <laughs> I feel a little strictly. Do oh, Ryanair, do the Irish. I want to learn how to Irish dance. Anyway, also on board in my galley, hopefully handcuffing me to a food cart, his home and aways, Cleo Bachelor of the Year. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, the very, very sexy. Logie Award winner, Paul O'Brien is here. Is that your baby? Did you board with that and everyone looked at you and said, how could you? How could you have it? How could you bring that on an aircraft? I'm sorry, this is a no... We don't allow children on my flights, I'm afraid. Madam, I'm going to take your baby off you. <laughs> sorry, I have to take it. Please I'll look don't. after it. I'll look <laughs> after it. Oh, how old is that? No, it's that cute? Oh, no. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not, I'm not good with kids. All right. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to fasten your seat belts. <laughs> and pay close attention to your in-flight safety presentation. This is for your benefit, so watch and listen carefully. <laughs> Tonight's safety presentation will be brought to you by my One World Alliance partner, Qantas, Spirit of Australia. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome on board this Qantas Boeing 737. My name is Gloria, and we really hope you enjoy your flight with us today. It's just amazing you still want to fly with us. It's really terrific. It's beautiful. I could lick every one of you individually. I could lick you from head to toe, toe to head. i lick, i lick, i lick you all over. Subtly, every aeroplane is different. That's why you need to watch this demonstration. Some are much older aircraft than others and have computers that crash and are prone to freefall and nosedive without notice over Western Australia, hurl you into the air, break in your neck and your Gucci handbag. So some blow tires on takeoff, some aircraft are so old the fuselage is known to break off to reveal a gaping hole. 
so don't pack anything too special. And some skid off runways in Bangkok. So please pay attention to this presentation. At the very least, run through this quick pre-takeoff safety checklist. Seat belt, do I have one? Brace position, so many to choose from. Nearest exit, might not be there when we break up over the Indian Ocean. Oxygen, supplied through a gaping hole. Life jacket, bring your own. Review escape procedures. How are you going to get over the fat pig on your right? When do you get a free beer? If you have arms and can hold one. Let me explain. We have cut so many corners and costs, so the chance of all of this happening is highly likely. It's only a matter of time and when and where. Qantas, the world's most experienced airline. The fact is, we don't make the same mistake more than four times, maybe five. Oh, and there was the bus incident. I'd round that off to an even 10. Thank you for choosing to fly Qantas. Spirit of Australia, we pride ourselves on never having a crash. Never having a crash? How's about a big gaping hole in the side of the aircraft? Well, it's now time to finger my cabin and find out which cabin crew I have on board in, in, in this lovely 747-400. Now, do I have any cabin crew on board? Have we got any Qantas? Yes. Qantas! Spirit of Australia, where are my Qantas crew? Here and here. What's your name? Brett. Brett. Are you long haul or short haul? Long haul. Long haul. Yep. We got Jetstar here. Real cabin crew. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Look at that, he flies over water. <laughs> Where's Virgin Blue? Virgin Blue are the sluts of the airline. If you look at his knees, they're all grazed. You know why? Because he's been on them. Oh, oh. How many more passengers do I have to do? Ah, ah, ah. That's your welcome aboard, isn't it? What do you do? Do you do that when you say welcome aboard, Jetstar? On ya! <laughs> now, I need my cabin crew. Qantas, what's your name? Brett. Brett and... Uh, ben. Ben from Virgin Blue. And where's Jetstar? Right. What is your name? Brad. Brad. Come up here, please. I need some contestants. <laughs> are you Virgin? What are you, Virgin? I'm no, Virgin Atlantic. Oh, so you're Virgin Blue and that's yes. Virgin Atlantic. Let go, please. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Qantas, Virgin Blue and Jetstar on ya. Even your hair matches your uniform. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take them away, give them a Pan Am makeover, and we'll see them a little later on the flight for our game called Take It Up The Aisle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you smell a barbecue? I think I can smell a barbecue. I think we have a celebrity in my galley. Shall we go and see who's cooking up a storm? Oh, who could this be? <coughs> <laughs> oh, my God! It's Paul and Brian from Home and Away! Summer's Bay! Yeah, it's good. How, How are you? Are you? Gosh, what are you cooking us today? A bit, a bit of chops Nothing and like prawns. a bit of... This is like being on a... What sort of flight is this? What are you cooking? What's the dish of the day? Steak. Steak? Chop. You got How about a prawn? Chops? Just a prawn by itself. So you started off as a chef and other and a spruker. Uh huh. And then you got into Home and Away. Home and Away. You're, so you're an actor on Home and Away, and you play a cop called Jack Holden. Yes, I do. So you like a uniform? I do. I do. Everyone else does. I you think. like women yes. in uniform? Sometimes Hello. they look so strong. You're smoking right now. I'm smoking. Are you? <laughs> you're good. <laughs> um, so do you ever take your uniform home? No, they don't let me. They don't let you? No. And so how is it acting in... Like, I've always wanted to do a, a soap, like, home and away. I don't know whether I'd be too extreme for it. <laughs> so do you think we could do, like, a little reenactment of, like, a, a scene from home and away? So you're the cop. Mm hmm What should I be doing? What do you do on Qantas? Steal. <laughs> so perhaps I should be stealing. What do you steal? Miniatures. You get the sack for that, don't you? You get sacked for taking nuts. 
Oh, sold in us. <laughs> so, shall we set the scene? I'm stealing miniatures, OK? You're the cop. You come up behind me, take me by surprise, so, and show me how it's done. So, what, do you get yourself into a mood? And then you, then, and then we turn around, we fall in love and you start crying. OK. <laughs> Let's try, let's try. Can you cry just like that? Sometimes. Want, I mean, with the should smile, we make it really dramatic? Help? So, yeah. OK, so we're on the plane, we're flying over where? Oh, you're so creative tonight. <laughs> OK, Wagga Wagga. Bro okay. I was going to say Broken Hill. Broken Hill. Broken OK, we fly over Bo Broken Hill. Um, we're about to land, I'm getting the miniatures, and then you grab me, then I turn around, you fall in love, and then you start crying, and it's really dramatic. OK. OK, hide over there, come start over there. OK. That's just random barbecue on board, OK? Here we go. So, I'll sneak. Excuse me. Sorry, what? Uh, what do you got there? Uh, oh, nothing. What do you got in your hands? Sorry? Show me what you got in your hands. Uh, no, I've got nothing. Show me what you got oh, in your hands look, right now. A bit of Give me that off! <laughs> My God, you're under arrest for stick. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I can't be with you. I can't be with you anymore. But I love you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're currently flying at 37,000 feet. For those of you on the left, you can see Uluru. For those of you on the right, you can see Ayers Rock. And for those of you in the middle, sucked in. You can't see shit. <laughs> Upper Deck Lounge. Tonight, joining me on my flat bed is a man who has won many dancing titles. He rose to fame in The Boy From Oz. He starred in the hit musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. The bitchy judge from Dancing with the Stars, Todd McKenney, is joining me. So glamorous Isn't before. it gorgeous? I, I've got it all ready for you. It's, it's not wonderful. like not like your bus on Priscilla, is it? It's not. It's a bit more upmarket than that. A little bit more upmarket. Up I, I feel it. I feel a tune coming on. Todd. What do you think it might be? Oh, look. Oh, still. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll do that. I've been to cities that never closed down. What key is that? From New York to Rio. London town, but no matter how far or how wide I go, I still no. call Australia. I, like a man. I still call oh, you're butcher than I am. I, I still do. call Australia home. Oh, oh, beautiful. Tom and Max on the on the keys on the ivories. What does he look like? <laughs> oh, look, he's, oh, you love the blow dryer. It's What's... kind of a mixture between Andre Rue and Andre. Sister Batrill. <laughs> I love Andre Rue. Yes. He's here. He's going to come up and play the violin for his later. I love Andre Rue. He always yes. looks like he's just farted, but he's waiting for everyone else to kind of cotton on. <laughs> 
that look. A hit with the mums. <laughs> yes, a hit with the mums. Yes. Like you, darling. Thanks. You know what, Boy From Oz? Mm hmm was my favourite of all time musicals. Are you but just saying that because I'm standing here? No, my two favourite in the whole world, and I'm sure a few queens on board would agree, would be Priscilla and the boy from Oz, and I mean that oh from God. the bottom of my heart. Oh my shall we take the maracas over and well, get we? comfortable? Are we going to get on that? Yeah, let's come, come oh on my, my bed. God. Can I wear this? Oh, not wear this is, I'm going to slip into something more comfortable. Oh, come and take a sip. These are my business oh, class. Oh, look, Todd's got his uh, sleeper suit on. My business <laughs> class. The only business class, Get if that's all right. Get into Jimmy Jams. I'm, I always sleep in a sequin oh. myself. Oh, here we go. Oh, while you're up there. Oh! Oh, cosy. Hi. Cosy. Do you want to come up here? Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, Todd. On the... Peter Morrissey designed this. Did he design these, them it? with sweat rings? Yeah, no, you're fine. Nice. You're absolutely fine. So, the boy from Oz. Mm -hmm. I saw you back in 1998. Yes, I actually it was. went with a couple of drag queens, Carlotta and Polly Petrie. Right. And we saw you do your spectacular performance. It was absolutely award winning. So, darling, you're in Priscilla, mm. Queen of the Desert? Yes. And how's that going? It's good. It's, um, I'm surprisingly comfortable in drag. <laughs> well, I mean, you grew up in Sydney? I did grow up. I grew up in Perth. Perth, and then Perth. you moved the... here. Yeah, so you have to talk a little bit slower for me. Oh, okay. Because okay, I'm from Perth. Perth. Yeah, Perth. I'm from Perth. Perth. Yeah, my mum's proud of me now. I'm wearing fishnets. Actually, I've got a daughter too, and her mum's wearing fishnets in the Rocky Horror Show, and I'm wearing fishnets in Priscilla. It's so a very camp family. There's no hope for our child. There's, well, hopefully, if I ever have a child, it's it's gay, a gay little gay boy. Yeah, no, well, a little gay girl. Yeah, I don't know. I'll encourage. Well, if it. it's not, you can have mine. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. <laughs> so tell us, so Priscilla, what? So you have to drag up every night. Drag up every night. Yes. Um, put on. Um, We've the got most some drag queens here, actually. I, I noticed board. that. Yeah. You're not one, though, are you? <laughs> no, no! I'm a real woman. <laughs> some people think I'm a man, though. <laughs> no, yeah, I can't imagine You can't imagine. I look, so what, what oh, about no. your drag tips? My yeah. drag tips are, do you know what I've discovered? Putting on a pair of fishnets. Right. If you... Because if you pull on your, your, your lycra elasticated fishnets, they can actually flatten your bum out a little bit. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. I'm going to try that. I can. need that. I saw these if camera angles. You, if you pull them on, can I stand up? Yeah, go on. Okay. This is my tip. So if you pull okay. them on. Oh, I love that. So you've got your fishnets, right. you're pulling them up yeah. like this, right? Right. As you get to your bum, right. rather than just stand up and have it flatten your bum out, well, you actually, yeah. <laughs> like that way, are you yeah, with right, me? Yeah. You bend yeah. over that way, right. pull them, yeah. snap them, lift, and right. your bum's perky ass. Okay, you yeah, with I me? get that, I get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I worked up a sweat doing that. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah. It's okay. I haven't laid on a circular Look, bed with a woman for years. Closer. <laughs> and now you're on my bed and oh, no, it's nice, isn't take it? that sleeper suit off. <laughs> and I'll call the boys in and I'll make a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us, what about um, any airline stories? Mum, my mother had a stroke. We were flying on, um, what was the, what? Bring it up. What, 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 what um, flies to Hamilton Island? It was not Qantas, it wasn't Jet Qantas then. Jetstar. I think it might you have been Jetstar. Jet no, it might have been Jetstar. Jet was Jetstar, I think she had a stroke next to me on the flight. We <gasps> left Brisbane and 20 minutes into the flight she had a stroke and... Um, they didn't turn around because they were running No, they were field. really calm. They, they, they said to my mum, oh, you silly old thing. I said to her, she's going like that. She's doing the worm in the seat you next to me. You silly old thing. You silly old thing. And so they... Jetstar don't you know how to work a defibrillator. Well, they they put... don't have them on board. They put oxygen, an oxygen tank on me, strapped it onto me, and I put the thing over Mum's head like that. And she lay down. I'm just trying to blend in. And um, it just dawned on me that she hadn't done her will. So I'm, as she opened her eyes and came out of this thing, I'm saying, have you done your will? Sign have you done, it. Your, have no. you done your will? I, I did. And I, but it was innocent. It was just innocent. I just thought, oh, I don't know whether, you know, all those things flashed through your head. And then you just I want the, the jag. Give me the jag. <laughs> I want the piano. <laughs> I want so anyway, the... she, did, yeah, she had a stroke, but she was all right. When we landed on Hamilton, they more or less wanted us off Hamilton as quickly as possible because she wasn't doing too well. The plane landed and we were met with paramedics. And But the people on the flight, the staff were fantastic. They were very calm. There was no panic. Except the man next to me which screamed like a girl and ran up the back. Oh, my God. And Hamilton Island has a very short runway. It does. They go... <laughs> yeah. Don't they? Yeah, they do. So we met with paramedics and um, we... Oh, I didn't stop the holiday, though. We took off to home. Of course and... you didn't. <laughs> we took What's off... What's like? <laughs> Mum had a stroke, went on Jetstar, we landed at Hamilton Island, then we went off to the Barrier Reef diving. Yeah, we did. We put her on... We, we took her to home and then we parked... We wheeled her out every morning underneath a palm tree and we had cocktails and um, <laughs> she was... She lived. <laughs> 
she leaves and she's She had like, a bit of foam hanging out the corner of her mouth, which is a little bit off-putting. But we just popped an umbrella in it and away we went. <laughs> Sort the will out. Oh, hang on. Oh. Who's this? Todd? What? It's my Pam Cam. Who is it? Hello? Oh. Are you flying? Pam. With, are you flying Pam, with me you today? Pam? I am flying with you today. I'm just about Stop. to leave the hotel for the airport, but I'm desperate for an upgrade. Oh. Listen, I can't sit in economy, Pam. It's really, really painful up the rear. I could, uh, I could sing in your upper class lounge. I could uh, mm. play piano and do something like uh, up. Up and away in my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. What do you say? Nah, I'll take the other one from Savage Garden, though. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. He's pushy. He's pushy, pushy, isn't he? He can sing a note, though. Oh, would you join me later to play our game, Take It Up The Aisle? Oh, I'd love to take it up the aisle. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever taken it up the <laughs> I aisle? So have. You certainly <laughs> have. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can now move around the cabin. We'll see you after this in-flight announcement when we'll be playing Take It Up The Aisle! <laughs> Sorry, guys, I just missed a virgin blue. Didn't see her. Came out of nowhere. Bloody tyrannas of the sky. Now, shit, quiz, where's my drink? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's time now to meet our three contestants to play our in-flight game, Take It Up The Aisle! <laughs> What stunners. What absolute stunners. Thank you. So we've got Virgin Blue, sweetheart. Uh -huh. And um, so where have you flown in from? Melbourne. Which, inter which international destination? Mm, Melbourne. How, time, mm. how many times a day do you do that? About Eight? ten, yeah, 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 on average. And Qantas, you've yes. flown in from London. London. And how long do you stay over in London oh, for? a few days. A few days. Yep. Could you imagine that? <laughs> <laughs> Staying over. How long do you stay in Melbourne? 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got Qantas and we've got Onya! Jetstar! And where have you flown in from, sweetheart? Gold Coast. The Gold Coast, another international destination. <laughs> now, what's your slogan? Do you have an airline slogan on Jetstar? Onya Jetstar. Onya Jetstar! <laughs> Qantas, what's your slogan? The world's most experienced airline. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Virgin Blue? Get what Suck you want. Suck cock too and your gums bleed. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we're going to play Take It Up the Aisle. We have Paul, he's got the finishing flag. Tom McKenney is on the starter gun. Now, the name of the game is you've got to take it up the aisle without spilling a drop, OK? So get ready, cabin crew, get your trays. Are you ready? Oh, we've got to start with you, finish with you. That's right. Get your gun that's out. That's what the gun's for. That's what the gun's yeah, for. What are they doing? OK, you're going to do three laps without spilling a drop. The first person to get to the end there wins an amazing prize. <laughs> Pam and GV3. OK, are we ready, passengers? Oh. Are you ready? <laughs> OK. Ready, set, go! Oh! Of course, Jetstar. You don't. You don't have. You're not used to working with trays, no. are you? Or, or food. Miniatures. Pontus, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You're our winner. And you do.
take, you do take away this vintage archival footage of Pan Man, a lovely Thank DVD you. for Thank you, Qantas, you very much. the world's most experienced airline, for a reason. <laughs> On the <laughs> jet star. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you now to thank my contestants, Virgin, Blue, Qantas and Jetstar. <laughs> Were you real? <laughs> you weren't acting, were you? I connected. Yeah, it was really so connected. organic. It just came through me. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul O'Brien. <laughs> and the nice. fabulous Paul McKenney. <laughs> and my Pan People dancers, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to put your seats in the upright positions and lock away your tray tables. Do you really think that's going to make a difference? <laughs> For those in economy looking out into Sydney thinking, fuck, how am I going to afford that? <laughs> I suggest when you get off the aircraft, walk straight into the propeller. <laughs> and to you at home, if you don't tune in next time, I will find out where you live and fly my plane into your bloody house. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sydney! <laughs> I'd like to now thank you for choosing to fly Pan Am Airlines, the world's most experienced airline. The fact is we don't make the same mistake more than... Three times. Well, maybe four. <laughs> now I'd like to do a little number for you, something I wrote in 1975 when I was black. 